Hello and a warm welcome to this feature. We're looking at new anomalies that I've discovered in a newer photograph of an older site I've featured in the past. This site is located in Proctor in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars in a region called Noarcus Terra. Yeah, we're looking at the original photograph I featured a while ago. This was acquired on the 13th of November 2012 at a resolution of 25.4 centimeters per pixel. And the images that I cropped are from this JP2 black and white map projected file. So there's a look at the low res black and white. And in the newer photograph I'll show you in a moment, we'll see that some of these dunes have moved, revealing new anomalies. And the site we're looking at is located over here in Proctor, at roughly 47 degrees, 35 minutes south, 30 degrees, 38 minutes east. And here's a brief look at those anomalies that are featured in that video. Check out the small sphere lying on that rectangular block. That sphere there is about a meter to two meters in diameter and then there's lots of other weird objects and features in this video. The newer photograph also we can see this anomaly but it's in a clearer, higher definition. And there's lots of these megalithic blocks as well. This one over here, for example, is about 8 meters long. Nice hole in that feature over there. That there's about 2 meters in diameter. And I think I found this anomaly again in the newer photograph and it looks as if that object has moved or tilted. So we're going to see a different angle to it. And in this over here, this dark feature, it also looks different in the newer photograph. It looks as if liquid is seeping up through the surface. But let's have a look at that towards the end of the video. Then we'll see... What the heck could this be? Initially I thought that there might be an impact of some sorts or maybe even a hollowed out area. That there's about two meters across. Check at the two little spheres inside it. Right, so the new photograph was acquired on the 23rd of May 2020 at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel and I'm showing you images cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at the same area in the low res black and white and the dunes have moved slightly since 2012 revealing some oddities we'll have a look at those now so the same photograph or same site it's at the same rough coordinates of 47 degrees 52 minutes south 30 degrees 40 minutes east and we'll be zooming in on the block over there folks as usual, the scale indicator gives you an approximate idea of how big these objects are. So we've got 20 there, 10, so that there is about 6 meters in length, giving nice right angles to it. And it's got this strange rounded part on the one side like it's part of the block but almost as if it's something that's folded over the block or could those be two blocks tightly packed together 
this year looked rather odd to me as well. Right, let's zoom in on the item over there about six meters across and check out the strange part of here, the outline with this rather weird part inside it looks highly sculpted or some weird erosion took place there but this almost like T-shaped brighter part or outline is also rather strange it doesn't look at all like this over here to the left right let's zoom in on that item also about six meters in length with the straight edge very uniform in its thickness as well I wonder what this is that's embedded there in the dune and a part of it sticking out right let's have a look at this item it's about 10 meters in length and this is the one that I showed you earlier in this presentation that looks like an object shaped like a banana this looks like it's slightly tilted or moved it's got a weird shape to it very very strange part not like any of the other boulders and rocks in this photograph it looks highly sculpted or molded perhaps right let's zoom in on that about 12 meters in length check out the shape to this part it doesn't look like a normal rock or boulder it looks almost as if it's been machined that a bevel to it right there's a block this one's about five meters in length nice right angle uniformity in the width and the thickness and this doesn't look at all like the remains of a dried out lake bed where we have these random shapes appearing when the cracks form and everything dries out right let's zoom in on this and this is also at the beginning I showed it to you this is in higher res we can make out nicer hollowed out part in the center with a small spherical object on the inside right yes that feature that looked rather different to what it does now it looks more like oil or liquid that seeped out onto the surface this too looks a lot more eroded I don't know what happened yet but it is very different to what it was in 2012 compared to 2020 so something rather odd is going on here could this be some sort of liquid looks like oil it's weird right let's have a look at that part about 12 meters in length so it's got this nice shape to it almost as if it's been made uniformity in its thickness as well 
Okay, the part down there to the bottom left. This is about five meters across. It's also got this symmetrical shape to it. And the oddity protruding out the one side right there in its center. Okay, another disc. This one's about 10 meters across. And it's got the same shape to the one we saw earlier. This one's more hollowed out, you could say, almost like a dish. Also very symmetrical, some geometry and symmetry in the items we're viewing. Right, let's have a look at the blocks over there. We've seen many of these in Harkis Terra. To get the shape and the length. Very similar to the one that I highlighted earlier. Check there. So are we looking at ancient megalithic ruins? Very similar to ancient sites here on earth where the blocks and things seem to have moved apart like a catastrophe that destroyed the structures took place. Right, let's check this one out five meters long this very smooth surface also looks like it's been machined and then the donut shape there that's about six meters across and a neat hole right there in that center almost like a millstone except this one is huge right check this out four meters approximately in length the parallel edges also slightly hollowed out So we seen only odds and ends sticking up out of the surface. I bet the sand on Mars covers like 99.9% .9 of all the artifacts. Every once in a while when the dunes move along, something is revealed. Okay. Up to the top right edge of Noachus Terra, where we have Proctor. Nos is also pretty interested in this site. Look how many photographs the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has taken of these dunes. So there's a look at the anomalies just featured. And those that are found in the older photograph taken in 2012 so the one we just checked out 2020 see how different this looks okay i've shown these other anomalies so often in the past. I encourage you to go back and check those videos out.
So what's up with Procter? NASA is very, very interested in that site. Are they just looking at dune movement to see how strong the winds on Mars are or how heavy the particles in the dunes are or are they looking for ancient artifacts? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Just before I go, I've got some bad news, folks. Uh, Michelle and I broke off our engagement about three weeks ago. Unfortunately, things just didn't go our way. Really sad, but you know, such is life. I wish her everything of the best, all the success and happiness to her and her daughter. But anyway, folks, that's the way things go. It's very sad, but then again, life goes on. And the search for new anomalies on Mars will continue. Take care, everyone. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Cheers for now.